Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dawn Baker and I'm Mike Sela. A mysterious death almost eight years ago in Hampton County is now turned into a homicide investigation. And tonight we are hearing from the community about the new developments in this case. 19 year old Stephen Smith, a high school classmate of Buster Murdoch, was found dead back in 2015 and the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says they opened their investigation into how he died in 2021. Now the attorneys representing Smith's family say the investigation is officially for homicide. Our Tyler Mannion reports from Hampton County. It was right here on the side of this rural Hampton County Road where that cross now stands that police found young Stephen Smith's body almost eight years ago. Hampton County residents have been waiting years for answers. Now just praying the Smith family can find some. I just hope that Sandy gets some relief and gets some peace uh, in knowing what did happen. That's what the family's new attorneys say they're looking for, specifically calling out the rumor that Stevens' Wade Hampton High School classmate Buster Murdoch had anything to do with this homicide. Buster, as we know, has nothing to do with this. And whatever is mentioned in the records, that's what investigators are going to look at. But we have no knowledge at all. Um, about Buster or the Murdoch's having anything to do with this right now. Buster making a statement of his own this week, saying in part, these baseless rumors of my involvement with Stephen and his death are false. People I spoke with around town are less concerned with who was involved and more focused on the Smith family getting the closure they deserve. It's, it's time for, you know, for SLID or whoever to, to really do some interviewing of people and some real investigating and, and find out what happened one way or the other. Today, SLED released a statement, in part saying they've assigned additional agents to the case in hopes that people who may have information are more willing to speak now than they were in the past. As we wait for updates in this case, including when Stephen's body will be exhumed for that independent autopsy, We'll let you know as soon as we get information on air and online at WTOC.com. For now, reporting from Hampton County, Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.